on the 20th of Tevis, Chav Tevis that is, the Rambam closed his eyes. The Rambam left this physical world at the age of 69 in Egypt, in Fostat, where he was the chief rabbi, but not just of Egypt, where he was actually the leader of Klal Yisrael at that time. He was recognized as being the giant of Torah, revolutionary in thought, revolutionary in the approach of teaching Torah, the one who represented Shlemus, perfection of Torah, perfection of a Jew, perfection in everything. And it's no surprise that they considered him the presumed Moshiach of that generation. What I want to share with you today is this fascinating, amazing, miraculous story of his burial. We know that he's buried in Tiberia, in Israel, in the triangle Tzvas Meron Tiberia. How did he get there? He was in Egypt. So the story goes as following. After he passed away, he left the will a message that he wants to be buried in Eretz Yisrael. But he didn't give an indication as to where in Eretz Yisrael. Everybody wanted him. The community of Yerushalayim came and asked he should be buried in Harazesim, the famous Mount of Olives. Those from Hebron, where the patriarchs are buried, Marasa Machpelah, they came and asked if he should be buried in Hebron, close to the Marasa Machpelah. There were representatives of Miron, where Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai, the author of the Zohar, who himself was also considered the Mashiach of his generation, <coughs> would only be appropriate. Now, I guess nobody came from the desert because we don't know where Moshe Rabbeinu is buried. Otherwise, there would have definitely been a request he should be buried next to Moshe Rabbeinu. Not knowing what to do, they decided, let's start going. Let's go to Israel, and on the way we'll find out. Now, going to Israel from Egypt, uh, to, uh, from Egypt at the time was fraught with danger. They had to pass the desert. And it wasn't about the... Uh, heat of the desert they were concerned about, they were concerned about robbers, about bandits that were roaming all over the desert. So a big group of people in procession followed the orin, the casket which was placed on the sturdy camel to cross the desert. And indeed, in during the journey, a group of bandits attacked. When they saw this big box, top of a camel, surrounded by many people who figured there must be a treasure in there. They threatened the people, the people ran away, most of them. And they decided to take the camel with them. The camel wouldn't budge. So, let's break it open. They couldn't break it open. Inquiring, they were told that this is the Rambam. The famous Rambam that everybody knew of, Jews and Gentiles alike. Realizing that there's something unusual over here, they let go. But in the meantime, the camel started walking. As soon as they let go, the camel started walking. And they decided, let's follow the camel. Because they realized it's going in the direction of Israel. And indeed, he walked toward the <coughs> excuse me. He walked towards Israel. And the sages who were accompanying, they decided they're going to see where that camel is leading them. He walked all the way to Tiveria. And at a certain spot, he stopped. And that's what they decided, that obviously this is divine providence, and they buried the Rambam right there. Eventually, they built a whole big... Uh, Oil, as it's called, around the Rambam's tomb. But that's the origin of the story, how the Rambam ended up in the very It was completely by divine providence, leading that camel to where it was necessary. And then it's interesting, then they realized that the Rambam writes somewhere. According to his opinion, Trias Amesim, the resurrection of the dead, will start from this area. And this is where the Rambam is buried. 
So on this day of Chof of, excuse me, of Chof Tevis, the 20th of Tevis, we pray to Hashem, let Tchiyas HaMesim already start. So we're going to see Moshe Rabbeinu. We're going to see the Rambam. And we're going to see Moshiach taking us out of Golis, all of them coming back and leading us into the ultimate redemption with Moshiach. Today, Shema is B'nai Yisrael, these are the Jewish people who entered Egypt, who are coming out of Egypt, the parish of this week. May it happen right now. Good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom.